Will Donald Trump stop World War III? Um, yes and no. <laughs> I'll give you my thoughts on it. I'd like to hear your thoughts down in the comments section below. I'm out here finishing up our morning walk here. Scraggly Lake Trail, Northern Maine, or Owl's, Owl's Head Lookout Trail, or whatever it's called. Scraggly Lake's right over there. I'm near the north entrance to Baxter State Park. Um, so, good walk this morning. Starting to get a little bit warm now. Uh, so, but back to our Jeep, and then from there, nine and a half miles back to the paved roads, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 miles or something like that to my office. Something like that. But anyhow, um, during the presidential debate or the uh, uh, funny actor reality show with Dopey versus uh, uh, Alley Cat, um, you can figure out who that is, those two are. Um, one of the questions that was asked was, uh, Mr. Trump, do you, would you be happy with Putin's uh, peace plan that he has? And Trump said, no, I wouldn't be. I'm not okay with his peace plan, his terms of peace, to end the war in U Ukraine. But he said, I would end it. Be one of his first things that he would do. He said, it's unnecessary. A lot of people have died un unnecessarily. You know, meanwhile, you know, Dopey is over there. Uh, I'm barely, probably not even sure where he's at. But the fact is, yes, the war in Ukraine was unnecessary. It was a terrible thing. It's cost the lives of huge amounts of people, Ukrainian men, travesty, a uh, terrible thing. And American tax dollars keep going to pay for this. And absolutely absurd. But you have to remember, the people that win every single war, without a doubt, you say the good guys, no, the bankers. Um, war is a financial transaction. Um, you look at your people as resources, did a video on this a few week or two ago, your people are resources and you say, do I have enough resources to go and take over that guy and is there something in that country that would benefit me and my country? Well, what's the issue with Ukraine? Oh, I don't know, 10 to 12 trillion dollars worth of rare earth minerals that can be mined, including lithium, uh, 21st century gold, in other words, with all of the EV future stuff and whatever else. Um, that's why there's a lot of greed around uh, Ukraine. And of course, you know, they say, oh, it's the breadbasket of the world. Well, that's secondary. Um, metals mining is going to be the way of the future. So, Will Trump uh, end World War III? Well, um, you have to see warfare differently. A lot of people think in terms of World War II, you know, tanks, guns, bombs, airplanes, ships at sea, submarines, sea mines, land mines, you know, all of the stuff that went on there. Uh, that's not 21st century warfare. That's called kinetic warfare. Again, I have a video on that. Um, Non-kinetic warfare is what will be used. See, America cannot afford kinetic warfare with Russia. But non-kinetic, with the dollar and with other things economically and uh, sanctions and whatever else, America can afford to do that for quite some time yet. Um, so, remember that. Don't forget that. So, I believe what Trump is going to do, Trump will come in and he will... Um, stop kinetic World War III because he'll say, okay, we'll come to some kind of terms of peace here or whatever. But Trump is a businessman. And Trump is going to, oh, all politicians are businessmen, excuse me. But Trump is going to try to make some kind of a deal where Americans can profit off of the metals that are in Ukraine. And uh, let's work together on this. Let's not, you know, fight each other. Let's all come together. Again, the pandemic taught us one thing, if it didn't teach us anything else. And that is that we are under a global government. All countries locked down. Um, all countries took measures to hurt their economies. Uh, there was a papal pandemic interdict that happened back then. Again, that's not my opinion. We did a video showing the proof of it. Uh, the Vatican, the kings of the earth, commit spiritual fornication with the Vatican and financial fornication. 
That's the whole point there. So um, while I believe that Trump, if he's selected, he'll be put in and he will stop um, kinetic World War III, non-kinetic World War III will not be stopped. He pretty much said it. Um, no, Putin's terms of peace are not acceptable to me. Uh, that means American uh, NATO meddling will continue. And the BRICS currency, again, I heard, studied that, and they, somebody said that they're not trying to get rid of the dollar. They would ha like to have the dollar as one of the currencies, not just the world reserve currency, but one of many currencies. And start to switch over to the digital thing, which if you understand the Bible, you understand that that's where things are going to go. Future Mark of the Beast system. So I have plenty of videos on that issue if you want to learn more about that. But um, just giving you my thoughts on it. I'm going to be signing out here. And um, see the beautiful lake over here. And uh, see if there's a lookout up here where I can show you a better scene of the lake. There is one up ahead. My battery's dying, so hopefully I can get there before my battery dies. Um, hopefully Trump can be put in before the battery dies of the war in Ukraine. <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that. It's all up to us. We need to you know, vote and get the right guy elected and, and whatever else. There's no such thing as plans being done behind the scenes and whatever else. And, and you know, I just want to say, I've talked about this in other studies, but don't ever fall for the nonsense that that uh, they have everything planned. No, they don't. <laughs> they can war game stuff, they can plan certain things, but ultimately they fail quite a bit and then they have to come out and make other, other plans and other, let's try this, let's try that. Um, ultimately they're falling into God's trap. God will let them do what they want. So it ultimately leads to their ultimate judgment and the return of the Lord Jesus Christ to this earth to rule and reign for 1,000 years. I have studies on that too. So, that is where I will end it. Oh, I better not stand on the bench. Probably will fall. Beautiful scraggly lake behind me. And um, thank you to everybody out there for your uh, views. Please write comments down in the comment section. Give me your thoughts on the thing of Russia and World War III and Donald Trump. And um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like the video. All that good stuff. And uh, see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.